Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yasmin and I record beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos three days out of the week. So please subscribe to my channel and follow me in my journey. The subscription uh, box is just down below, so please click it. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi guys and welcome. So for today, this is a requested video from one of you subbies. I'm just gonna put the name here. So thank you for suggesting this video. And if you guys have any further suggestions for videos, please comment below. I do look at all of the comments, so just comment below. So for today, as you can see from the title, it is a classic smoky eye. The ultimate smoky eye for nights out, special occasions. This is just one makeup look that I can always depend on. It always works whether you have five minutes or you have an hour. There's so many ways to perfect the smoky eye. So for today, I'm just gonna be doing a small tutorial. So if you guys are interested in this, just keep on watching. So guys, just before I start my makeup look, I'm just gonna tell you what's on my face. So just to save time throughout this process because I'm actually heading out, I already did my brows and for a brow tutorial, I just filmed a brand new brow tutorial. So just click the link here to find my ultimate brow. And uh, for my makeup and my lip, they're part of my everyday makeup look and I already recorded a video, obviously. So just click up here just to see those two videos. So no, first, I'm gonna cool. start by priming my eyes and I'm gonna be using this product here. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion. So I'm just gonna take it out from here. So what I actually do is I just don't apply it just to my upper lid. I actually just take a little bit more of the product and then I'm just gonna add a little bit just below my eyelid also. Because we're going to be smoking out the colors today with the smoky eye, I'm, I wanna make sure that those colors stay all night. So this really ensures that everything just stays where it's supposed to be and nothing is migrating, you know. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna move on to the eyeshadows. And for this look, I really wanted to show just one look from one palette, which will make all of your lives so much easier. So I'm gonna be using a palette from Kat Von D. This is their ultimate palette. It's called the uh, Shade and Light Eye Palette. And it has amazing, gorgeous colors for a smoky eye. <laughs> But what I prefer is for a smoky eye, I really like to add a black base. So you can also use a black eyeshadow, but for today, I'm gonna be using a black gel liner. And the black gel liner that I'm using today is, is a drugstore one. It's called L'Oreal Gel Liner. So basically, I'm using this gel liner just to act as a base. I really love using a gel, gel liner as a base because it really, in my opinion, just makes your smoky eye so much blacker. So I'm just taking a regular shadow brush here. And I'm just gonna pile it on with the gel liner. I'm not going too much into it because I'm just gonna be building the product as it goes. So I just have my trusty mirror here. And I'm gonna really, when I'm applying it to the lid from the pod, I'm making sure to start from the bottom and then I'm just gonna be gradually adding as I'm going towards the crease. You really want the black to stay within the crease. So I'm just gonna continue that process. So I'm just gonna be applying the black base and then I'm going to be blending it out just to make sure everything's clean I'm going to be using a scotch tape and I'm just going to be placing it on each side of my eye just so I get a really nice line at the end so the line that I'm going for is my lower lash line up to my brow. That's where I'm going to be placing the scotch tape. So I really get that precise line when I'm blending everything out. <laughs> so I'm not really placing it that close to my eyes. I really want just a little space so that I can just, you know, smoke out the black line at the end. So just leave some space when you're applying the scotch tape. And then let's go back to blending. So just to make sure everything is really well blended, I'm going to be taking this brush. This is a Sephora Pro Blending Brush and I'm just gonna be using it just to blend and it has nothing on it. It's just a clean brush and I'm just gonna be using it just to blend on the outer corner.
I'm just using this brush just to make sure everything is blended. So when you're doing these tutorials, you really want to make sure you have a brush that is just for the blending. So now that I've applied enough black eyeshadow, I'm really happy with the consistency. So now I'm just going to be building up the colors. I don't want it just to stay black. I really want to add some dimension. So I'm going to be adding now the browns and the really nice like orangish reds. So first I'm going to be taking a clean blending brush. This is the MAC 217 brush and with the same palette. So this is the same Kat Von D palette. I'm going to go with this shade here. So this shade is like more of a reddish brown. So I'm just going to be just getting enough of that here. This shade is amazingly gorgeous on dark skin tone. So I really, really love this. And I'm just going to be adding it just above the crease so that that color really shows. So I'm going to be taking this brush and blending it. So now that I'm done with my eyeshadow look, you guys are a lot closer now because I'm going to be doing my eyeliner and lashes and I wanted you guys to really see what was going on. So I'm going to be using this liner. This is just a liquid liner from MAC. So I'm just going to be taking my liner brush here and I'm just going to be creating just a really thin line. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going for effect, not perfection, ladies. This is super easy once you apply the scotch tape. So now all of our hard work is going to pay off. So now we're just going to move the scotch tape and let's see our product. So guys, I just removed the cello tape or the scotch tape from my eyes. And now I'm just going to finish off with the last eyeshadow and that is the highlight eyeshadow. So the brow bone and the inner corners. And I'm going to be using this gorgeous just a bright shade from the Kat Von D palette. So I'm just going to take it with this brush. This is the 219 MAC brush. So I'm just going to take some of that and then just apply it on my highlight areas. So for a brow bone highlight, lots of people like to go with something that's a little bit matte, but I really prefer something that has a little bit of shimmer to it. This is your best opportunity to put like a shimmery, shade under your eyes because I tend to really focus on mattes when I'm doing my crease area and when I'm doing the smoky eyes. So this really shimmery color just makes everything look so much brighter. If you do get anything under your eyes, don't be worried if you get any shadow fallout because I haven't concealed and you will just conceal your under eyes. So that looks good. So now we're going to go with concealing. So obviously I'm going to be using my favorite palette and that is the Makeup Forever uh, Full Coverage Concealer. And I'm just going to be using the shade number 14 and my Beauty Blender. So with this concealer, you really want to go really tiny. So I'm just grabbing this much of product and I'm going to be grabbing my Beauty Blender. I find everything blends well with Beauty Blender and it has this really like nice point here so it really gets within the crevices of your eye so I'm just honestly the beauty blender is such a lifesaver if I had to tell you guys to buy one thing you can buy all of your shadows drugstore you don't really need to invest in high quality products but for the beauty blender I highly recommend it it's amazing so there we go now I'm just gonna be applying some mascara and falsies and then we're done so for mascara, I'm going to be using a drugstore favorite. This is the uh, L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Mascara. Oops, and I made just a little bit of mistake here, but I'm just going to wait for the mascara to dry and then I'm just going to be using a Q-tip and then rubbing that off. So 
So guys, I'm gonna be using the Ardell Demi Wispies just to add a little bit of, you know, drama. So I'm gonna be, so I basically, I'm using the duo glue with it. Uh, so I've already added the glue to the lashes. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. You really want uh, the glue to be tacky. So if you guys ha need any tips on how to apply first lashes as a beginner, just let me know. I might record that video. Um, so yeah, I really love these lashes. These Demi Wispies, in my opinion, are the best lashes on the market especially if you want something that's a little bit not too dramatic if you're a beginner in lashes demi wispies is where it is check it out so now i'm just gonna wait for the glue the white glue to disappear the white glue does dry clear guys so don't be scared <laughs> So guys, that was the end of my classic smoky eye tutorial. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed. Comment below and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And guys, follow me on Instagram. I'm always lurking on Instagram and I post three times a day on there. So you can always catch me, you know, live there. If you want to ask me some questions, leave me your suggestions for future videos down below. I love you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.